Hello y'all, today I'm coming to you with a trailer life motivational video. One of the hardest things that I had when I transitioned from a sticks and bricks to the trailer was this bad boy right here. The oven was such an experience, um, a negative experience for me that I had to learn how to twerk and figure out how I could cook my family of five a meal in that oven so I didn't have to waste my money on fast food and going out to eat. Not saying we never do those things, but let's face it, as a family of five, it's a lot cheaper to eat at home. So my first tip that I have for you is when the recipe calls for the temperature, I usually knock it down at least 15 degrees. So for these box of brownies, the temperature is 325 degrees and to bake for 12 to 14 minutes. I would turn it to about 300 and bake for about 10 minutes and check before it gets burnt. Now it might need to stay in there a little bit longer. Um, and that's fine, but at least it's not getting burnt. Another tip I have is that I would do it at the 300 degrees, but then about two minutes, maybe five minutes before it's done, kick up that heat if you're trying to get a crisp or something crunchy on it so it has a nice um, flavor or texture to the top of that meal. So the second tip I would have is when you're cooking, this is just an example, is spreading out the middle. So if you can get your things to not be in the middle of your pan where it tends to burn. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in the oven. I only have it set at 300 degrees instead of the 350 that it calls for. And it calls for 15 minutes, but I'll probably do it for 12. So let's see what they look like when we take them out. Looking good. The real test is what does the bottom look like? Nice golden brown, perfect. So, these are good to go. The next tip that I have for you is when you're cooking a casserole dish is to keep it moving. So the main reason that things burn in the oven is because the heat is directly in the middle. It's like on a fire so it's that's where your heat's directly coming from so you want to put the pan on one side of that heat and close it up and then in about three to five minutes i'm going to move it move that direct heat to another side of that pan and continue moving it around so that the direct heat isn't hitting one spot and so it's less likely to get burnt all right, so we're looking pretty good. Down at the bottom, you can see it's starting to cook. So now I'm just gonna take it and slide it to this side of the oven. So now the direct heat is on the opposite side than it's been on. All right, so I'm about halfway done with cooking the brownies and I've had the temperature at 300 and I am going to boost it up to what it calls for, about 350. And then I'm just gonna come in here it's cooking up well and I'm just gonna spin it around this way so again I'm transferring that direct heat to a different position kicking up the heat to the directed temperature allows it to um, harden up and to get that extra heat that it needs but while cooking it you don't need such a harsh heat because it's too much heat and you end up burning it so while cooking you just take it nice and slow and then at the very end you kick it up and get the job done look at those beautiful brownies and no burn on the bottom 
I'm going to go ahead and let them cool off and cut you a piece and show you what it really looks like on the bottom and how yummy they can be if you just spend the extra time moving them around from that direct heat. Now let's get my hubby to taste it. Mmm, that's delicious and moist, very moist. Okay, so this is a tip that I have yet to try. I just purchased this at the store and I hear if you put this in your trailer oven, you can use it normally. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this in. And I have taken some more of my pigs in a blanket and I put them in the center. Um, as you've seen with the ones before, the ones on the edges were not burnt at all. So let's see how these turn out. Okay, so I've cooked these ones at the regular temperature for the amount of time suggested. So let's see what they look like. They're a little less golden on the top, but they're cooked all the way through. And by golly, they're not burnt on the bottom. So th all those other tricks will work, but you can eliminate them if you get this trick to get a baking stone. It's my number one tip I have for you. If you don't have a baking stone, then all the other tips will apply. I hope this has motivated you to want to get into your trailer stove and start cooking. Don't let it intimidate you. Don't let the fact that you burn a few things stop you from trying it again. Get in there and get cooking. Give us a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next Monday with more motivation. <laughs>